Hello, painting peeps, and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. I'm so glad you all joined me again. We're going to be doing a fun swipe today. It's my jam. See that color there? Oh my gosh, golden Indian yellow. I've had three bottles of that for about four months now and I hated that color. It was uh, sent to me by Golden uh, for those free samples they were giving away and I'm like what the heck am I gonna do with that? So I figured you know I've got it. It's nice paint. Let's just give it a go. So that is going to be my swipe color today and it turned out beautifully. I'm so excited about this swipe and it has dried absolutely gorgeous. Now the reason I'm doing a voiceover today is because I am in my studio and my handy dandy man Rick is in the little room next to me with his high power tools making all kinds of noise. I actually have my uh, noise canceling earbuds on as I'm doing this painting because it's just as, as loud as can be, bless his heart. So we are putting down that base coat. That's the golden Indian yellow and ugh, I hated this paint, but I was determined to use it up. I have three, four ounce bottles of it. Now you see me tilting my canvas here. The reason I do that is to get rid of all the excess paint on the canvas. It also keeps me from putting too much paint on the canvas because I can kind of stand there and determine how much more I need to get it down to the bottom. So that's why I tilt my canvas to get rid of excess paint and to use less paint. Giving it a torch there and I just removed the cup because the paints look like they're nice and even on that canvas. We're starting off with our Artist Loft Black. There's our Deco Art Rich Espresso, which I put on both sides. Same with the Deco Art Antique Bronze. There's that beautiful golden burnt sienna. And here comes our golden burnt umber. So we're going to swipe with that black. That's why it's in the center. And we're using a damp paper towel that I sprayed a real light mist on at the bottom. Lay that paper towel down nice and gingerly in that black paint. Let it soak up a little bit and then slowly drag it to you or away from you. Adding a little more black over there because it kind of got lost. Nice and easy and make sure when you're doing those sides you have that paper towel hang over the edge so you don't get a little divot in the paint. Slow and easy. Now this guy is starting to sell up so beautiful. That deco art um, antique bronze really selled up. This turned out to be a really pretty painting, guys. Now you can see I did it in sections so that my um, my swipes were kind of off-centered. Here I'm adding a little bit more black that I'm going to maneuver and manipulate around a little bit. I'm also trying to get rid of some of that uh, kind of... Um, Indian yellow hue that you see in the middle. I want my black to be, um, you know, nice and thick and consistent down that middle area. You'll see me come in here and uh, kind of even that out with a uh, wooden skewer. Doing another swipe in a couple of different sections. That black will lighten up here in a, in a bit. Uh, I just wanted a little bit more contrast because that Indian yellow hue was so bold, so brilliant. Adding a few little enhancements. And you can see when I drag my popsicle stick through that paint, I do it ever so lightly, guys. I 
just kind of skim the top of the canvas. What I'm doing there is I'm pushing that little bit of gold that you see popping up in that black swipe line. I'm pushing it towards the cells to get it out of my swipe line. There I dipped a little paper towel in my black cup and I had a little excess paint there on that side cause so I'm trying to rub it off there and uh, get rid of it. Also trying to clean up those sides. The sides are important guys. They're part of your canvas. A little bit more black in there and then I'll tilt that canvas a little bit. Now you got to be careful when tilting your swipe. You don't want your lines to get a little, uh, you know, off lined. So um, you do any of your tilting after you're done with the majority of your swiping because most of the paint has been swiped away. Sorry about that little glare there you see in the corner. I'm just kind of over accentuating some of those um, cells, running a little bit of that black paint down in through them. Now sometimes I come in after the painting is totally dry, and I mean at least seven to eight days, and I'll come in with a, a real thin paintbrush and some of the uh, black paint, and I'll add some more definition to this painting. For example, if that center swipe line had a little bit of the base coat popping up here and there, that's what I'm trying to do there. I'm trying to kind of send that color, that uh, Indian yellow back down. But after this painting dries, a lot of times your black dries a little bit dull. So I will go back in with some more black and kind of uh, repaint that swipe line. See, I'm pointing to some of that Indian yellow right there. Now I can't seem to get rid of it, but I'll go in when it's dry and uh, tackle that then. Here we go, coming in for a close up. Oh, I wish you could see this in person, guys. It's so much prettier. And it darkened up a little bit. Uh, that um, um, bronze color dark, darkened up a little bit as it dried. Guys, I'm so glad you joined me. Stay tuned for the dry results. I'm wishing you all a fantastic day. Happy painting day or evening to each and every one of you. Thanks for being here, guys. I'm grateful. See ya.